Hello, Alan. Good evening, Tisha. How are you? Good, good. I'm doing okay. Thank God. What about you? So I'm I'm doing okay too. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Did you work today? Yes. What time did you finish? At five at five o'clock. Five o'clock. Do you oh. finish at different times? Around five o'clock. Sometimes, sometimes is the goal it's so standard or or is the goal is short? Sometimes you finish uh, six o'clock. Uh, excuse me, five o'clock or or five in in minutes. Okay, so it depends on how much demand you have. Yes. All right. Because this is this is an an inbound service. All right. Oh, that's good. Andy, how are you? Hi, fine. And you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. You know, another day, day by day, see what's going to happen tomorrow and the day after and Saturday and, and so on. Yep. Did you work today, Andy? Andy? I don't think she can hear me. Nelly, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. How was your day, Nelly? Um, it was cool. All right. Did you do anything? in particular uh, no no just just stay in my home with my boyfriend okay good mm -hmm. lorraine how are you hi good night good I'm evening fine. how was your day i uh, i was uh i have to work all day and um I just just came one patient. Uh huh. So it was it was uh, how do you say tranquilo? Quiet. Quiet. So it was okay. quiet. My day was quiet. Yes. So you you are uh, what exactly do you do, Lorraine? I'm secretary and assistant in a clinic, medical oh. clinic. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of doctors are there in your clinic? Uh, medicine interna y neurocirujano. Okay, good, good. So right now I, I suppose that you are, you receive patients, but they have to program first. Yes. All right. They have to, to make a, a date, a an appointment, cita? an appointment, appointment, yes, appointment. Okay, all right, good. And where's the clinic located? It's in Condominio Balan Kitse in Escalo. All right, good. All right, so today is May 13th. Yes. What was yesterday? May 12th. 12th, exactly. 12th. Yes. So just like in every other class, let's review yesterday. Um, let's talk about the topics we discussed yesterday. Do you remember what we spoke about? Uh, uh, we talk about present continuous. Uh huh. What is the function of the present continuous? Somebody? Um, it foresees it thinks that it happened right now. Good. You you use the present continuous when you're talking about things, events that are happening 
right now. Now, does present continuous have any other options, any other functions? Somebody, anybody? <laughs> so if I said, what plans do you have for this coming Saturday? What would be your answer? Uh, then that I will go to the supermarket and and cleaning the house. <laughs> okay, cleaning the house. That's present continuous. Or you said um, I'm visiting the supermarket. I'm shopping a few things for the house. I'm visiting my family. I'm seeing the doctor. Uh, whatever plan that you have, you can perfectly express those plans by using present continuous. Present continuous has two functions. Um, like your friend said, uh, you're talking, uh, you're using the present continuous when you're talking about something that you're doing at the time you're speaking, or you can also apply it when you're using, uh, when you're using it in the future tense. So the two options are good. Uh, what else did we talk about? Anybody? We talk about uh, families or family members in, in an exercise. I don't remember what is the, the topic, but we have talked about. Right. Uh, we also spoke about family members, about, you know, you were talking about if you came whether from a big family, a smaller family, a medium family. Um, and you, you guys were also practicing with vocabulary. Um, any questions about uh, family vocabulary? No, no. Everything is fine. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let me see. Sure. Yes. And we do say. Uh, kids, children, right? Yes, children and, and kids is vocabulary that um, people usually use when they're describing their families. And remember that they use the word children, they use the word kids, even if the people they are referring to are adults. So it's, it's, it's not a problem to say kids. I have five kids. The first one is um, 26, the second one is 22. And you know, I, I say kids, even though they're adults. Okay, thank you. Sure. Any other questions? No, there is no question. Okay, so let me see this. Uh, going to conversation. No, that was the other one. Let's write this one here. Okay, um, did we do this exercise yesterday? Can, can, you, can you see the document? Yes, yes, I see. Okay, did we do this one? Yes. Yes, no. yes, sir. Uh, oh, did, yes, yes. Did we do this one yesterday? I do, yes. I do. I did. Okay, I did. okay, so what would be number two? What would be the answer for number two? Um. Is your classmate is your classmate study? Studying? Studying. Studying, uh -huh. yes, he, is. He, he is. He is. Yes. Now look at the at the at the information that we have on top. If the information is positive, you use verb to be and the ing form. 
the only difference between positives and negatives is this word here. So you place the word not after a verb to be and automatically it becomes uh, a negative uh, sentence. If you want to make a question, you will have to use verb to be at the beginning and the form of the verb is always ing as well. Now, when you answer, you can give a short answer and say, um, are you traveling by taxi? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are you speaking with your brother about the situation? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. So you can use this information here as options on how to, how to answer questions in the present continuous. Um, any questions about this right here? <clears throat> No, teacher. Oh. Okay. Okay. What about number three? I need a volunteer to do number three. Okay. I will do it. Okay. Stephen makes dinner. Okay, but it's it's present continuous. No. Stephen, Stephen is, is making, making the dinner. dinner. Yeah, is Stephen making Stephen dinner? Is making dinner. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Um. What about number four? Someone else. Why are you? Why laughing? are you? Okay. Laughing? Why are you laughing? Laughing. Uh huh. What's the answer for that question? I am reading. I am reading a funny book. Good. What about number five? Is the children playing in a playing a game? Okay, the children are the children playing a game. I played in. I played. Are playing a game. It's a positive sentence, so you should say the children are playing okay. a game. What about number six? Okay. Anybody. So, um, maybe she could, because I have problems with my connection. So. It is, it raining, is raining, now. raining now. It is raining now. Raining what about number seven? Number seven is a question. Are they eating, are they eating lunch? lunch? Are the they answer eating is, lunch? What's the answer? No, they aren't. Good. No, they aren't. Good. What about number eight? Birds are Birds singing. singing. Birds are singing. What about number nine? I'm doing, I'm doing my, home. my homework. I am doing my homework. What about number ten? He's, he's not. He's not sleeping. Sleeping. He's not sleeping. sleeping. What about eleven? My friend and I are talking. Good. And the last one, number 12. Young yeah, is not, not swimming, swimming at the beach. At the beach. <laughs> good, very good, nice. Uh, any questions there? With the present continuous tense. How many tenses did we say there are? Twelve. Twelve. There are 12 grammatical tenses in English. So don't forget that. Okay, so we're going to um, make a pause talking about um, tenses. And now we'll be talking about quantifiers. Quantifiers. Adjective quantitative. Okay, quantifiers. Now, when you're talking about quantifiers, there are only two that are giving you an exact number of people, things, animals, books, chairs, whatever. Those two are all, all is all, it means 100%, and no one means zero. No one means zero. Those are the only two that are giving you an exact number. All the others, 
the ones like nearly all and few, these are close estimates for you to have an idea of how much or how many um, in terms of quantity they were mentioning. So nearly all and most, nearly all families have only one child. That means that maybe 95, 95% 95 of all families have only one child. Then the second group, you divide it by saying many, a lot of families are smaller these days. Many, a lot of. So this is a big number, maybe um, 75 or 80. So when you say many and a lot of families are smaller these days. Now when you say some, some you're saying half of it. When you say some, you're talking about 50%. Then we go to a lower rank, not many, a few, or a few, then we're talking about maybe 15 or 20%. Not many couples have more than one child. And then no one, like I said before, it means zero. So no one gets married before the age of 18. Uh, any questions or comments uh, regarding the quantifiers? Um, I have one. Yes, Pamela. The video the teacher said that we should ask to our teacher about yes. the count nouns. Yes. And how do we use in a sentence or in a conversation? Can you explain that? Sure, sure. Uh, countable nouns, uh, just like the name says, you're making reference to things, people, or animals that you can literally count. Now you can use them positive, you can use them negative, you can even make questions. Just make sure that whenever you're using countables, you are using the right, uh, the right sentence. It depends what exactly you are saying. So, but countables and non-countables, you know, they're very different. Um, so if you wanna use them in a positive, negative, or in a question form, just make sure that you use them the way it should be. Can you give me examples of countable nouns, uh, Pamela? Mm, like anything. Anything, right. Um, pencils. Uh-huh. Um, so People. let's, okay, uh, so let's use pencils as an example. You said, I need to buy five pencils. Pencils is something countable, and that's the reason why you need to add a number. Okay. Now you say, look, we don't need any pencils. We already have some here. So you okay. use it in a very general form. Now you ask a group of students, does anybody here need any pencils? So you can use it in different forms. Just make sure that the rest of the sentence or the question is properly uh, executed. Okay. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No? No, no, teacher. Okay, no. so let's... No. Um, Let's do this exercise. Huh, I thought I had it open. Quantifiers. No, we already have this one open. Okay, here we go with the exercise. Can you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me take a picture yes. of it so I can send it to you. See what's up. You can also take a, a, a picture in your computer or cell phone. See this here.
So how can you explain the word quantifier? Imagine your little brother or your little sister asking you for help. And he or she is asking you that you explain how to, how to use this. How can you explain the word quantifier? It's a question. Mm, quantificador or contador. Okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> so imagine that your little brother or your little sister, they're asking you for help and they say, look, I, I have homework with about quantifiers. How can you explain that? That quantify, quantifier is like a adjetivo quantitativo, right? Okay, so what is the function of that word that you said? To explain uh, what is the quantity of uh, one thing that is not countable. Okay, so as you can see in the exercise, we have much, many, lots of, a lot of, little, most, little. a little, little, a few, and few. Uh, some of them will be used with countable nouns and some of them will be used with uncountable nouns. So, uh, for example, if I ask you, what's the difference between much and many? What would be the answer for that question? Much is for not countable and many is for countables. Okay. So much oh, no. is for non-countables, many is for countables. Countable. So if I said, how much water do you drink? You say, well, I really don't know. I just know that I drink a lot. Or it's different if I said, how many cups of water do you drink? Oh, I drink about five or six. So when you say many, it's because whatever you're mentioning can be counted. Can be counted, yeah. much is non-countable. Okay, uh, so quantifiers, we use them to give an idea of how much or how many you are talking about. How many people were there at the stadium? Oh man, there were a lot, there were thousands. You said, how much, uh, how much patience do you have? Oh, I don't have much. I need to have answers kind of quick. So you use much for non-countable, you use many for countable. Um, we have lots of, a lot of, little, most, a little, little, a few and few. Are there any questions before you guys start doing the exercise? No. Okay, so let me assign no, you so you guys can start working in pairs. Breakout rooms, we have 10 people. I'm going to make five pairs and here we go. Okay, so what is your phone number? I can see that in the no in, in the graph. Oh, I have the image. Yeah. Do you have already? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, because I'm going to to send again uh, to to the to the group. No. Yes, yeah, I ah. Oh, yes, I see me in A lot of? Oh. I see. Uh -huh. A lot of. And the second one, how many do, how many we, do have we have to read this week? This week. 
tiene el celular la veo toda distorsiona vamos a ver aquí Cecilia hi teacher how are you fine acá que no veo bien el <laughs> celular pero ya vamos a ver aquí que okay que did, did you receive the image yes okay good yes, uh, all right Thing he has. Um, oh. Teacher. Yes, sir. What What is assignment? Assignments. Um. Assignments are things that people need to do. Like a uh, shadow. No. Uh, activities? Activities. Yes, activities. It's a synonym of activity. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, it seems we have... Uh, uh, activities are countable. Yep. In the first one, it seems we have had many assignments in English this year. No. We have had. Um, is is many. Many. Um. I think we have had much assignment. Um. Much is for no no comfortables. Uh huh. Or we have a lot of. A lot of, uh huh. I think we have a lot of assignments in English. In English this yeah. year. Uh huh. Okay. And what about two? How many? How many do? Mm, no, how much uh -huh. do you have to read this week? How much? Okay. Because you don't, you can count uh, a quantity to uh, for read. I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, is how much? How much? Yeah. How much do we have to read this week? Um, how about the the third? Uh, Americans don't like George Bush. Uh, yes, it's possible. Teacher. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, hi, only. <laughs> Which number are you doing right now? Uh, three. In the third. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. But yes, Andy. I have a question. Yes, Andy. And I'm confused about the third because when uh, we think that uh, we can use uh, many or a lot, of, a lot of okay which number are you doing again and the third okay let me see it okay let me see it let me see it let me see it you say the first one or the third one the third one about uh, americans don't like george bush okay many americans many americans many americans or you can say a lot of Americans. A lot of, okay. a lot of American or many for it is countable. Right. You can say most Americans don't like George Bush. Or you can say few Americans don't like George Bush. You can use different options there. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, for, for this situation, we can confuse what uh, what? 
which quantifier you would use. Yes. Okay, yeah, but li like, like I was giving you the example, you can use different options and, uh, and the sentence is still good. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Oh, the four. I don't you. I think it is. He is must. No. Sería mucho. Must. I I don't use. Mucho fertilizante los. Which number are you doing? Little. Number and number six. No, no, number seven. Seven. I didn't use. Okay, fertilizer. What is fertilizer? Fertilizante. Okay, is it countable or non countable? No countable. Non countable. Mm. So we use, I didn't use much fertilizer much? last spring. Much. That's why we had so. So what? Oh. Weeds. Yes. Weeds. Uh, we Can you count weeds? So many. Yes. So many weeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't use much much fertilizer last spring. That's why we had so many weeds. Yes. Thank you. Sure. Hey. It has rained very, very Is it raining very hard rainy. where you are? Excuse me, teacher. Is it raining hard where you are? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let me visit some of your friends. Eat. We have so much. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Okay. We can say I I didn't use many fertilizer. fertilizer. No, uh, fertilizer is non-countable, so you should say much fertilizer. Okay. The the sentence. Is I didn't use much fertilizer last spring. Uh huh. That's why we have so much weeds. Uh, many weeds. Why many weeds? Weeds yes. is countable. Yeah, weeds is uh, well. It depends how you use it. Um, if you're talking about what people smoke, you say much. But if you're talking about plantation, you say I have three weeds that I need to cut. So weeds is countable. Okay. Yes. Estábamos viendo la definición de weeds como maleza. Yeah, maleza, monte, mala hierba. Mala hierba, right, right. Plantation, you said. Three, three weeds. Three weeds. I have three weeds that I need to cut. Tres, tres malezas. Yes, but what number is it? It's number eight. Number seven. Ah, eight, seven. And, and if you number notice, seven. if you notice, the word weeds um, has letter S, so that makes it countable. Um. Okay. That makes it countable. Okay, number eight, Eric. It has rained very. Which one are you guys doing? And um, for the eight. Eight. Okay. All right. Good. Yes, uh, we we think uh, is the it it has rained 
very much this summer. That's why the grass is so brown. Okay. okay. So it has rained very little this summer. That's why the grass is so brown. Now, when it rains a lot, everything is green. But if it doesn't rain, all the plants are brown. So brown, it, has, yeah. it has rained very little this summer. Yeah. That's why the grass is so brown. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. No, no, no much rain. Right, right. It has been, there has been little rain, so the, that's why the plants are brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or can, or we can use fuel. Uh, what would be the complete answer? For example, uh, it, it has rain very, very few. Um, the summer. That Okay, hold on, let me, okay, it says, uh, which number was it? Uh, the same, the eight. Okay, it has rained very, what was your other option? Few. Okay, it has rained very, no. Few is for countables. So you can say little, you can say much, but in this case, since they're saying that the plants are brown, um, it's because rain has been very little. Okay. Yes, because few is for countables. Okay. All Thank right, you. sure. Okay. I think he drank. Which number um, are you doing? I think. Number five. Uh, number five. Okay. So I think he- We're checking. What? What's the answer for number five? I think it's lot of. Lot of, sure. Lot of. That's that's one possibility. I think he drank um, a lot of wine last night, or it could be the opposite. I think he drank a uh, little wine last night. Okay. So it can be, yeah. We finish. Okay. So let me return everybody to the main session. Okay. Mm -hmm. The grass is so brown. But I think a, a little because the grass is so brown is because it's uh, so cold. Exactly. Sí, pero dice, so a little, very little. Very little. It's raining. Very, no, very few. Very, very few, maybe. Uh -uh. No, no, few, few no. is for countables. For countables, uh -huh. right? Yes. Okay. I have a few books in my house. My son has only a few toys. It's for things okay. that you can count. Okay. Um, the has very little. Very. Uh huh. Uh, very, very little. little. O sea, que yo lo pongo por eso se hace con la, la, yep. la Exactly. Very, uh -huh. very little. Eso estaba bien esa. No uh -huh. sabía que podía usar very little. Estaba okay. bien. <laughs> okay. So, la a lot of nueve. people. No, a few people. A no, few no, no, people. Uh -huh. La nueve a few A little people, people sería. People. Ahorita medio estaba así que para agarrar el teléfono y, y meterme a la clase. No, podía ni moverme. Where were you? Where were you? Uh, Eric has an, an accident in the work. Really? And yeah. he has a backache. Back okay, so, so what happened, Eric? Um, I am an accident um, where I had an accident cargando unas cosas, entonces 
mi espalda sufrió mucho. Oh. Did something fall? Eh, Se cayó algo. Yeah. No, fue como más movimiento. Oh. Was it heavy? Sí, el, el coxis. Okay. Oh. So maybe your wife can give you a massage or something. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have to be careful when you are loading things. Yes. Yep. All right. So. Ah, uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Se puso una inyección. Injection. He took. An yeah, he took. Uh, he put an injection. Ah, he put an injection, but it doesn't work. Oh. Let's say it doesn't work. Okay. Well, let's hope. Um, <laughs> it's 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 a natural reaction of the incident that you had and that you don't need any anything more serious you know mm -hmm. okay so let's return to the main session okay see you Eric. Hello again, teacher. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, were you guys able to finish the last exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me see this one that I have here. But I have lost my container. <laughs> Who? Uh, um, Pamela. Pamela, right? <laughs> yeah, and that's why I moved you to another group because she reported that she didn't have electricity. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so let me see. 5.9, 5.9. It's raining a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I yes, think it's raining it's, a lot. And I think it's nationwide. I mean, it's not only the place where you are right now, but in all El Salvador. Oh. Yes. I'm in Lourdes and it's raining. I'm in, in San Miguel and it's raining too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in San Salvador and it's raining too. It, it, yeah. So imagine Lourdes, San Salvador, San Miguel. San Salvador. Yeah. A popa. Yeah. Is it raining in a popa too? Yes. Okay. So, All right. In Santa Ana, it's raining in Chalchuapa too. Okay, so it's, it must be uh, nationwide. It's maybe the end of the world. I hope you that you all <laughs> stay confessed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, you, you, you never know with all these strange things, epidemic and, and emergencies, and you, you're, you know, you should be ready to expect whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do this exercise that it's related with quantifiers. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the first one. I'm going to read the first one. Okay. Alan. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So how can we say that in a different form? So in China, uh, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Okay. Does everybody no. else agree? Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. Check the first one. What about number two? In Australia, okay. eight, 87% of married couples have children. Mm -hmm. And in Australia, nearly all of married Couple of children. Nearly off. Okay. What about number three? In the United States, zero percent of the people vote before the age of eighteen. Okay. In the United States, no one votes before the no age one? of eighteen. Uh -huh. No one. Yes. Okay. okay. 
So let's click this one here. Okay. Uh, what about number four? Thirty five percent of people in Germany live alone. Uh, maybe uh, a few people in Germany. Okay. Somebody else has a different answer? Uh, some, some people in Germany, Germany live alone. alone. Okay, let's... People. Okay. Some people. Now, remember, 35% is not much, but it's, it's not... Few. Yeah, I mean, it's like 35%. So a you few. tell me if it's some people or a few. A few people. A few, few people. people. Few people. A few people. Okay, let's click with a few people. And number five. Seventy-eight percent of American high school students have jobs. Uh huh. Uh, most American, most high American. students have jobs. All right. All right, so let's click on the first one. We send it. Let's check the answers. Okay. It's uh -huh. some people. Some people. Uh -huh. right. Some people in Germany are long. Because uh -huh. like, like I was telling you when I was explaining the quantifiers, um, okay. 35 is, is, is a huh. little bit high than few. Ah, oh, yes. So a few, un par de personas. Un par de personas. Uh -huh. So we have this here, so yeah. keep that in mind. Yes. So 35% yeah, means... Some people. Some people. Some people. Yeah. Some people. Yeah. So let's send it. Uh, quítale uh, a la few, porque si no le va a salir mal. Right. There we go. Mm -hmm. and send it all right any questions about this exercise no 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 okay so let's do the last one which is about reading uh right here The change in family. Did you have the chance to read this part? Yes. Okay. So the change in family, it says read the title of the article, then check the question you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when both parents work? Okay, so how many people are there in this family? Five. 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 And, five who are, and who are those five people? Who are they exactly? Family? A family? Family? A family. family. Okay, but when we say five, are we talking about two cousins, one uncle, and two brothers? No. We're talking five. about three. two parents, three sons. Okay. Oh so, no, two sons and a daughter and a daughter. Okay, so we have the parents, two sons, and one daughter. All right. So we have this paragraph here, and I need a volunteer to read it, please. Uh, I'm gonna read it. Okay, go ahead. So American families are changing. One important change is that most married women no work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Judge, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital's administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything's going well, but there are uh, there are also many some problems. So right. I can see as All well. Right. All right, also good. some problems. All right, good. Thank you. 
Um, any questions about the part that Alan just read? Pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Okay, so I need another volunteer to read uh, his part. Someone else. Time is money. Me. All right, good. Thank you. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Uh -huh. Another volunteer for this part. Judy loves her work, but she feels to feel to feel it. Different. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. All right, good. What about Emily, another volunteer? Emily is... Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, hi. <laughs> Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. All right. Uh, ben, I need someone else for Ben. Yes. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most most afternoons in front of the TV. All right, and the last one about Josh. Just one. Cecilia? Josh enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. 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 Yes, thank you. All right, are there any questions about the information you guys just read? No. What mean chores? Chores are activities that you need to do. Activities that you need to do in your house, like wash the dishes, clean the windows, do the laundry. All right, um, any other questions or comments? The, the last, uh, Sentence about a cross, chorus. Uh, where in, are you? Josh. Josh. In, in your... Yeah, chores. The last chores. Yes, a few household chores, activities that he needs to do in his house. That's what it means. Chores. What are the typical household chores in houses in El Salvador? Um, washing dishes. Uh huh. Um, wash dishes. Only wash dishes. Mop. Mop. Sweep. Sweep. Okay. Uh, household chores um, is connected to activities that people need to do in their homes. Wash the wash the car, uh, wash the dishes, clean the windows, sweep, mop. Okay. Um, any other questions okay. about vocabulary? Thank you. Okay. No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. I thank you again for your time. And we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. Hey, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good, teacher. Good night, Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Which children are benefit from Jody work?